hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft a half scale basic bodies block and i made sure that i explained it the simplest way i can so that beginners can easily understand each steps so this is a very important tutorial and i urge you to watch to the very end these are the reasons why you should take this tutorial serious because i'll be applying this tutorial to achieve a corset and i'll also be posting some paper illustration on my instagram page so kindly check the description box to follow us on instagram so let's get started these are the measurements i'll be working with the shoulder measurements the bust measurements the waist measurements and the bust span measurement the bust span measurement is the same as the nipple to nipple distance the next measurement will be the bust point which will be the nipple point and the arm psych which is the round arm o and the next measurement here is the front length so the front length is usually two inches longer than the back length and the reason for this is because of the bust that which is usually on the front pattern of the basic bodies so in this case by the time you must have gotten your bust that for the front pattern the actual length will become 15 inches and how did i get 15 inches for the back length the 15 inches is the vertical measurement taken from the shoulder to the waist so on my pattern paper the first margin i'll be ruling out to be the length of the half scale so the longest length of the half scale is the front length measurement which is 17 inches For the horizontal line, I'll be making use of the fuller part of the measurement. The fuller part of this measurement is the bust measurement. But if the fuller part of your own measurement is the waist measurement, that means you have to use the waist measurement. But I'll be making use of the bust circumference since that is the widest measurement I have here. So I'll divide 34 inches by 2 and that will be 17 inches plus 1 inch allowance to that and that will be 18 inches altogether. So here I will rule a straight line of 18 inches. So the next step is to make a box. Since this vertical line is 17 inches, the opposite vertical line should also be 17 inches long. Since the horizontal line is 18 inches, the width of the opposite horizontal line should be 18 inches wide. So this horizontal line will be the shoulder line. And remember that the wideness of this line was gotten by dividing the bust circumference into two. Plus the one inch allowance which made it 18 inches. Now I'll get the midpoint of this line and I'll also mark the midpoint of the second horizontal line to form a straight line which will divide the box into two so the left box will be called the back pattern of the bodies why the right box will be called the front pattern of the bodies so this vertical line will be labeled as the center back of the back pattern why this line here will be labeled as the center front of the front pattern 
The next step is to place the measurements on the box. First step is to mark the neck measurements. So since this is just the basic bodies, so the standard neck width for a basic body is 3 inches, while I'll be marking a neck depth of 1.5 inches. So by the time you want to make your styles, you can actually reduce it to the actual neck depth you want or the neck width you want. So instead of reeling a box by connecting the two points together, I just used my French curve to achieve the neck curve. And the reason I did this is because I don't want so much markings to be on the paper in order for you not to get confused at some point. The shoulder measurement is 14 inches divided by 2 i have 7 inches so you just place the tape starting from the center back of the line to mark 7 inches and the next step is to mark 1 inch below the shoulder points as shown to connect this point to the neck width Now for the front panel, I'll also mark the standard neck width, which is 3 inches and a neck depth of 4 inches. The next step is to connect the neck width to the neck depth using a French curve. Next step is to place the shoulder measurements on the starting line. So the shoulder measurement is 14 inches divided by 2. That is 7 inches. So I'll place it on this line to mark 7 inches. To get the shoulder slope for the front panel, I'll mark 1.5 inches below this point to connect it to the neck width. But for the back panel, recall that I marked 1 inch below the shoulder points. The next step is to place the measurements of the arm psych. Around arm wall is 14 inches divided by 2, that is 7 inches. So I'll just place my tip on the shoulder slope to mark 7 inches. To connect this point to the tip of the shoulder slope. The next step is to mark the horizontal bust line. To achieve this, since the arm psych is 7 inches and I went down by 1 inch, I'll just add that 1 inch to that 7 inches and that will be 8 inches. Now, I'll place my tape on the starting line to mark 8 inches on both center side of the panels. To connect the points together. The next step is to rule the arm psych of the front panel by extending this point straight down to the bust line. So it is important to get the accurate front width and the back width. To achieve this, I'll place my tape from the shoulder slope to the chest line to mark the midpoint. So this is 7 inches divided by 2, that's 3.5 inches. Please take note that I marked this point on the back pattern. Now I'll connect this point across to the other straight line so this will be a guide to where we'll be marking the front width and the back width so the front width measurement should be deeper than the back width measurement so here i marked 0 0.5 inches and for the front piece i'll be marking 0 0.75 So I'll use a straight ruler to connect from the back width to the shoulder slope and also connect from the front width to the shoulder slope. Now I'll be using the curved side of my ruler to connect the back width to the center line.
We we'll also connect the front width to the center line of the block. So the next measurement I need here is from my shoulder to the bust point, which will be marked on the front. So the shoulder to the bust point is 9 inches. So the bust point line is also called the nipple point line. So from the center front to the bust pan is 6 inches. I'm going to divide that by 2 and that will be 3 inches. So I'll come down by 1 inch from this point. To rule a straight line, vertically downwards. You can also cross check it to see if the distance between the center front and the dart line on the waist is 3 inches. For the back dart, I will mark the bust span on the chest line, which is 3 inches. Now I'll come down by 1 inch from this point to connect it vertically downwards. So for the back panel, I'll be opening up my darts by 0.75 on both sides. And for the front panel, I'll be opening up the darts by 0.5 on both sides. So I'm going to connect this dart line in form of a triangle. And I'll repeat the same thing here. Now to eliminate the back bulge for the zipper, I'll go in by one inch from the center back of the waistline. To connect this point to the chest line. Eliminating the pouch at the center back of the back piece is very important because after fixing the zipper on the center back of your dress, you realize that it relaxes very flat compared to when the pouch isn't removed. Recall that at the beginning of this tutorial, I showed you the measurements and the front length of this pattern is longer than the back length and the reason why the front length is longer is because of the bust that that is going to be included in it so by the time we are done manipulating the bust that it will end up being the same length with the back length so from the shoulder so my actual waist length is 15 inches i placed my tape on the starting line to mark 15 inches as shown just on the back pattern. So the difference between the front length and the back length is 2 inches. The next step is to shade out this part since it won't be needed anymore.
All right, guys. So the next step is to take the bust circumference. The bust circumference is 34 inches. You divide it by 4, and that is 8.5 inches. The waist circumference is 26 inches. You divide it by 4, and that is 6.5 inches. So after shading out the lower parts of the waist, the dart spacing became 1 inch, while the bulge zipper became half inches, and that is 1.5 inches altogether. So I'm going to have that 6.5 inches plus 1.5 inches, which will give me 8 inches. Now I will connect the bust circumference to the waist circumference. For the front panel, I'm going to mark the bust circumference, which is also 8.5 inches, and the waist circumference, which is 6.5 inches, and the dart spacing here is 1 inch, and that will be 7.5 inches altogether to connect the bust circumference to the waist circumference. It's time for us to mark the bust that to achieve this. So it's time for us to mark the bust that Remember that the nipple point was 3 inches. Now I'll mark 1 inch away from this point. So I can put in the difference between the front and the back, which is 2 inches. Now I'm going to mark the midpoint of these two inches to form the bust start. So because this bust that is going to be folded, it will affect the side of the bust so the best way to undo this is to extend the dart so i'm going to extend the bust dart by half inch outward So this is what we need for now and with this basic block pattern you'll be able to achieve a lot of styles just keep practicing till you're perfect so that you'll be able to manipulate a lot of styles with this basic pattern now i'll be cutting this out and remember that this shaded part isn't needed
So for the front panel to be equal as the back panel, I need to open one of the darts, maybe the waist darts or the shoulder darts. But in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do that and I'll also be showing you how to transfer this template to a fabric with the sewing allowance included. So thank you for watching to the very end. I hope this tutorial was helpful and kindly put the notification bell to be notified when I upload a tutorial on how I'll be transferring this pattern.